my name is Bindra Suvanava, working as an assistant professor, Department of Information Technology, IIE at Trinity. So, today I will take the one of the important topics, the property of the eCash system, it is a, one of the powerful tools in the electronic commerce system. The electronic commerce eCash system differs in the implementation, but every electronic cash system must have the following properties. Having different kinds of the properties are there in the, the e-commerce systems in the e-cash. So the important thing is called monetary values. That is also one of the subheading. Then what about the monetary values? The monetary values is the present. If the electronic cash is backed by hard currency, so a bank Certified cashier's check or bank authorized credit. When the e cash credited by one bank is accepted by the others, reconciliations must occur without any problem. So, such type of thing is called the monetary values. The monetary values is the most important property from the e cash system. So, in the online marketing business should follow by monetary values. Then going to the other important topic is interoperability. What is meant by interoperability? The electrons e cash must be interoperable. So to be interoperable, electronic cash must be exchangeable for those services, paper cash other electronic cash, lines of trade or any purpose of for which money is used. Interoperability is depends on the acceptance of the electronic cash by an international clearing house because parties to be must transition will not be using the same bank. So the most important properties one is the monetary value. And second important thing is called the interoperability. Here, the interoperable nothing but a exchangeable of for goods, exchangeable for goods, services, paper, cash, whatever it may be. It depends upon the those availability or facilitate are there in the e cash systems in e commerce. So, monetary values and interoperability is the most important tools from the e-commerce online business and third one is called the storable and retrievable they store the data in previous transactions and present transactions then storing also one of the important tasks in the any online marketing business the electrons of cash must be storable and retrievable in the sense retrieving the data from the data warehouse is called the retrievable before on that storing of information should be required. So the storable and retrievable also first store the data and then after retrieve the data. The electronic cash must be storable and retrievable. Remote storage and retrieval will allow user to access eCash from office, home or while traveling. The cash should be stored in remote computers memory for example, smart cards and electronic wallets, such type of uh, facilities is required in the storage areas. Then after you want then retrieving of the those data. So the storable and retrievable things is the most important task from the eCash systems and security. Security, it is the common phenomenon in the electronics e-commerce systems, especially properties, properties of e-cash systems is most important thing from the security concept. What about the security? The electronics cash should not be easy to alter or copy while being stored or exchanged. So the procedure must be in place to verify the Electron cash is spent only once, that is, double spending issues should be 
taken care of. So, the security also most important authorization and authentication is required, not involved to the intruder or third party to provide some tools is called the cryptography algorithm or uh, crypto networks or crypto uh, encryption detection algorithms also can help a lot of the security aspects. When use DKS transfer directly and immediately to the participating merchant and vendor machines, similar to regular cash, a cash enable transactions between customer without the need for banks or other third parties. So the security we can provide the transaction immediately to the participating merchant or vendor machines. So such type of facilities are facilitating in the e-commerce uh, or business or e-care systems. That is also one of the important property is called the security. Then the properties of the e-care systems, how to work in, how to work in of an electronic care system, different types of the properties also there. Step number one, a customer or merchant sign up with the following participating banks or financial institutions. It is also very, very important to connect to the uh, financial institutions or participating of the bank is required. Before on that, sign up is required. Point two, the customer receives specific software to install on this, on his or her computers, the software to allow the customer to download electronic coins or this or her desktop. The software manages the electronic coins. The initial purchase of the coins is charged against the customer bank. The account are against of the credit card. So here one of the important tasks, the customer receives the specific software and install on the um, computers. Before on that, you can do the any operation, a set of software also required. Then the software to allow the customer to download electronic coins or this at desktop. Then automatically the coins is generated. The software manages the electronic coins. The initial purchase of the coin is charged against the customer bank. Then having some values, uh, value are uh, uh, creating with the help of the coins, the against of the credit card. So this is the advantage of the business, the e-commerce. Step three, when buying the services from the website, by accept e-cash, the customer simply click the pay with e-cash button. So the merchant software generate a payment request Describing the items purchased with price time and date. So, entire should be there. One is the time and uh, payment request and uh, describing the items purchased with price and date. All those things is available in the uh, properties of the eCash system. Then going to the step number four, the customer can then accept or reject this request. When the customer accepts the payment request, the software residing on the customer desktop su subtracts a payment that is sent to the bank or financial institutions on the merchant and then is deposited to the merchant account. So, if any problem will be there within the few days or few hours or seconds, then automatically rectify the problems and send back the amount in the merchant account. So, so many flexibilities are uh, there in the e-cash systems. By entire process, by entire process takes a few seconds, the merchant is notified and a term ship the goods. So, such type of facilitation also there in the e-care systems. Before the purchase can be made, both the merchant and the customer need to be established banking arrangements and internet likes with the banks that is issuing the e-cash. 
the customer first request the transfer of the funds from his bank account into the cash system. So, if any problem will be there, automatically uh, loss of account persons again cash back of the e cash system. So, that is also one of the beautiful property in the e cash system. The e cash system then generates and validate e cash points which the customer is able to use in this issuing bank is the private key. You can utilize the, those points also. The customer is then able to send e-cash to any merchant will be access to this form of payment issuing using the software provided by the e-cash service provider. So, the e-cash service provider, uh, so many facilities also there, you can utilize the with the help of the banks and creating of the some coins, raise the coins, giving the some value, then pull up the these coins automatically, uh, withdraw the these coins in the sense, convert into the digital valid cash. So the customer encrypt the messages on endurances, the coins using the merchant public key, the merchant and decrypt the messages with the private key and verify the validity of the coins using issuing the bank of the key. The merchant is then able to turn e-cash into a real coins to be created to the merchant bank. So this is also we can create the coins then with help of the some keys are generated public key and private key. Public key nothing but a security in the sender, public key nothing but a uh, automatically those key in the encryption decryption is also required you can use of the this key. With help of these two keys public and private keys then the coins using the bank's public key okay. The merchant is able to turn a cash into the real funds to be credited to the merchant bank account. So, the properties of the e-care systems, such type of facilities is are available. Uh, that is also one of the important thing in the e-care systems. The other important thing in the electronic cash is a form of payment that is exchanged electronically. So, the customer withdraws electronic coins from a bank and pay merchants with them, the merchants uh, the deposit the coins to the bank. This system involved computer networks over which the payment is made. So, payment systems is very easy compared to offline payment system. That is also one of the best property of the e-cash system. See, the cash or electronic cash refers to a digital electronics money that allows for the secure online transactions. Here are some properties of common associated with e-cash. In addition to that, these properties also could implement in the e-cash system. I will explain the previously different types of the properties. In addition to that, these properties also helpful from the uh, e-cash systems. First property is called the digital format. E-cash exists purely in digital form, not for in the physical other form. The e-cash exists purely in digital form, stored electronically rather than physically like traditional cash. So, the digital format system is the one of the helpful uh, technique or technology in the e-cash system. And second one, you know, enormity of the pseudo pseudonymity. That, that is also, it depends upon the system, e-cash transactions may provide varying levels of the enormity or the pseudonymity, allowing user to conduct transactions without relieving their identities. So, the properties of the e-cash systems, we can use the digital format or uh, enormity or pseudonymity also one of the important things in the e-commerce system. As, as it is in the security and portability and disability also is in the common thing, 
already I will discuss to the security aspects. Once again, that is using the extra word this property. But each system typically employs strong encryption and other security measures to protect the transition from unauthorized access, fraud, or counterfeit. Why? Because of we can remove from the fraud or counterfeiting and unauthorized access is the prevention from the security aspect. In the same security methodology, authentication and authorization is also required. Only uh, a real employee or a real customer who can uh, store the data and retrieve the data and transfer the data. All those things depends not involved into the intruders or third party. And the most important thing is called the portability. Portability is the one of the best property of the eCash systems. eCash is the highly portable. So, as it exits in the electronic form, enabling users to conduct trans transactions from the anywhere with the internet access or uh, through other electronics uh, means. So, the portability, best portability is available. Portability in the sense, we can store the one system uh, and edit and modification of the other systems. Nothing but a portability is the one of the best uh, buzzword in the uh, e cache systems and its divisibility. Similar to traditional cache, e cache can be divided into the smaller units, allowing for the tra transactions of the varying amounts. So, the digital data is divided to the smaller units and nothing but a one, one unit then with help of the uh, this units we can allowing for transactions of a varying amount so the property of the eCash systems uh, security and portability and divisibility divisibility in the sense uh, the traditional systems of eCash can be divided into the smaller units allowing the transactions of the varying amount so these properties also very helpful from the eCash system. That is also one of the property of the eCash system. And instantaneous transactions. The each transactions can be occur real time, providing instant confirmations and settlement. That's a type of technique called the instantaneous transactions. That is also one of the powerful property of the eCash system. And global accessibility. What is meant by global accessibility? The cash systems often operate globally, enabling users to conduct transactions across the border without the need for currency conversion. The global accessibility and activity you can utilize the anywhere in the global with the help of the eCash system. Such type of technique is called the global accessibility and decentralization. In the sense, most of them in the cryptocurrency technique, you can utilize the decentralized centralization, nothing but it is involved into the bank manager and other persons. But decentralization, nothing but we can do the any operation only customer. Some e, e cash systems operate on the decentralized networks, it is the blockchain technology you can use, meaning they are not controlled by the single entity like a bank or government, not involved into the like bank or government. Why? Because of that is such an entire uh, purely connected to the decentralized network. So, decentralization is uh, one of the most powerful property of e-commerce, e-cash systems and irreversibility. Irreversibility, once a transaction is confirmed on the e-cash networks, it is a typically Irreversibility, possible, are providing security for the merchant against the chargebacks. Having some chargebacks also there, which depends upon the any transactions, such type of technique is called the irreversibility. Okay, and low transaction cost in the e cash systems. One of the best property is called the, in the compared to the physical transaction, it is a very low compared to uh, offline mode. E cash transaction often incurred low fees compared to traditional payments methods. 
especially for the cross border transaction especially for the cross border transaction and interoperability it is also one of the one technique that e cash systems may be designed to be a, a compatible with the existing payment in the infrastructure facilitating integration with the various financial services and platform so interoperability in nothing but a uh, existing the payment or infrastructure facilitating the integration with the various financial services and platforms you can use the type of technique is called interoperability traceability it is also optional in the e-commerce system depending upon the system's e-cash transactions it may be a traceable for the regulatory or complaints or fraud prevention purpose that is also legally you can provide is called the traceability and the smart contract integration in some cases we can use such type of property some of each e-cash systems uh, utilize certain aspect of the transactions such as escrow services or conditional payments so the smart contract integration some e-cash systems utilize small con contracts or automatic certain aspect of the uh, transactions uh, such as the escrow systems services or conditional payments so overall e-cash offer a convenient and efficiently way to a conduct financial transactions in the digital age with the features are tailored to meet the need for users and business operating in the online environment so the e-cash systems so the electronic cash often referred as a digital currency or e-cash is a form of currency that exists only in digital form uh, but the e-cash system purely depends upon the digital form also it allows for the instances transaction transactions for electronic networks such as the internet how here is how electronic cash work in action so the payment process when a customer went to make a purchase using electronic cash the initiate your payment process this could be through a variety of the means such as mobile wallet app etc the website checkout or a contactless payment systems we can use such type of technique is for the payment process and authorization is the another property of the e cash systems the payment systems verify the customer identity and checks if they have a sufficient electronic cash balances to complete the transactions this verification typically involves the encryption and authentications and protocols ensure the security so the electronic cash offered uh, referred as a digital currency or e cash is a form of the currency that exists only and digital form so the e cash system is more powerful one is the payment process and second one is the authorization so this two is most important uh, properties of the e cash system and transaction confirmations that is also one of the technique once the authorization is the successful the transaction is the confirmed and uh, this confirmation including a digital such as the amount of the e cash transfer the receipt Uh, information and the uh, time stamps so the transaction confirmation is the most important property of the e cash system transfer of the funds how to transfer the funds in a secure manner that is also one of the property the electronic cash is the transfer from the customer digit digital wallets or account of the recipient accounts so this transfer happens electronically and is usually completed in the seconds making electronic cash transactions fast and convenient so transaction of funds is the most important thing in the properties of the e cash systems and record keeping store the data and retrieve the data or look like that is also additional property in the e cash systems both customers and the recipient receives the recording 
records of the transaction for their references. This record often include transaction ID, date, and time, the amount, and any additional information relevant to the transaction. So, the record keeping or storing of the uh, previous information, present information, entire data is available. Store the record keeping also one of the important property of the eCAS systems. The security measures, the electronic CAS systems employ various security measures to it. Um, ensure the integrity and confidentiality transactions. This may including encryption, multi factor authentication, or biometric verification and fraud detections. All the remainder comes under any biometric cases or authentication moderation concept related to the security measurements of the uh, this one. Our integration with the financial system, electronic care systems are often integrated with the traditional financial system, allowing user to connect between. Electronic cash and fight currency government issued by the currency such as the dollar or euros, such type of currency is called the paid currency. This integration facilitates by the acceptance and usability of the electronic cash. So the real world application also another important property of the e-commerce systems. Electronic cash is used in various real world scenarios uh, like including Online shopping, or pay to peer payments, or bill payments, and etc. Uh, remittances. It convenience and speed make it the particular popular popular for your digital goods and services. This is also one of the impact from the uh, electronic uh, 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 cash systems. It is uh, one of the best property of the uh, e cash systems. So this is the my references. Uh, so many references also there. I can display a few references. Uh, main book is the, the uh, main book is the uh, front list of the electronic commerce. It is one of the important uh, first edition introducing of the 1996. Name of the person author uh, Ravi Kalkatla or uh, Wisdom and Ravi. And the different types of the references books are there. And one of the important book is. E-commerce strategies, technologies, and education. Uh, Tata Migril uh, uh, and the second edition, introducing of the year of 2000. And another one is the e-commerce, the cutting edge of business Tata Migril. Uh, the written of the author is the uh, Kamlesh K. Bajaj. Okay, that is also one of the powerful books. And another important reference book is called uh, Global Commerce. Global Electronics Commerce Theory and Case Studies it is also one of the helpful in the this subject. The Christopher Westland, okay, the HK Clark. We can introduce of the this book. Different types of the references are also available in my references in the website references. You can check and uh, uh, download the some important links. Also, the important subject will be downloaded. So this is also very helpful for the this and finally thank you uh, today my class thank you so much like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates